December 3rd of uh, 2014, I was uh, riding a, a bike along with several of my partners. Um, this particular day was, a, from what I remember, was a pretty nice day in December. We uh, get a call from my sergeant. And he's like, all right, there's a, there's a march going on and, and we're gonna be involved in, in helping uh, with this thing. And so we ran back to our garage and um, got prepared to go out. We were responsible for kind of the lead of this, this march. Um, so we're on mountain bikes and, and doing our thing. Again, it was just such a beautiful day and we end up getting released to go back to our, our normal assignment. And, um, you know, we, we turn around and we, we start heading back to the downtown area. And, um, you know, I don't remember the accident. I do remember my partner in the ambulance, which I didn't realize I was in an ambulance, but I remember him giving me encouraging words and, and letting me know that I was gonna make it. I remember hearing the, you know, the acceleration of the, the ambulance and the, the sirens and all of that. My left arm was completely crushed, lost my spleen, this leg, it was bleeding out pretty bad. The artery was severed, but they were able to save the leg, crushed the ribs, big old rod in, in my femur and got hardware pretty much everywhere. I kind of went into my own world of what I thought was going on and kind of a dream world. I know people have uh, different views. You know, I didn't see a bright light. I didn't see things like that. It was a battle from the very beginning. I truly believe that in what I was going through, I had an opportunity to, to give up. I was asked numerous times in this dream world, you know, to basically give up. And I, I told them, you know, you're gonna have to kill me. I'm not letting go. I chose to fight. 